Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from circle theorems. A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. A, B, X is a straight line. And P, Q is a tangent to the circle at point A. Angle C, B, X is 85 degrees and angle B, A, Q is 55 and angle C, A, D is 42 degrees. Find, as we can see, a list of angles are been given. That is, find angle CBD, ACB, ADC, BCD, and PAD. You can find the entire question in the description box below. So, if you would like to try this question before I start explaining, please go ahead. So, let me come back to this question. And the first question asked is find the angle CBD. So, it is this angle over here. That is C. B D. We need to find out what is the value of this angle. Now to find these angles I am going to use a set of circle theorems and to find the angle C B D I am going to use the theorem angles in the same segment theorem. It states that angles in the same segment are always equal. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and I have marked two points on it that is point A and B. Now these two points on the circle divides the entire circle into two segments. One is the smaller segment known as the minor segment and one is the bigger segment which is called as a major segment. Now using these two points let me draw some angles in the major segment. That is at this point there is an angle made. So at this point another angle is made. So likewise I can make n number of angles in the major segment. Now it states that the angles in the same segment are always equal. So we can see that all these four angles are made in this major segment. So if I consider this angle for example as 20 degrees, then all the remaining angles also become 20 degrees. So this is what angles in the same segment states. So let us see how we can use this theorem to solve the example above. Now here let us consider the points C and points D. These two points divide the entire circle into two segments that is one is the smaller minor segment and one is the bigger segment which is a major segment. Now these two points make an angle at point B and the same two points make an angle at point A that is in the major segment. So according to the angles in the same segment theorem, if the angle A is 42 degrees, then angle B also has to be 42 degrees. So we can write over here, angle CBD is 42 by using the angles in the same segment theorem. Now let us find out the next angle, that is angle ACB. Now let us find out where is the angle ACB. So here we have the angle ACB. Now to find out this angle, I am going to use another circle theorem which is given as alternate segment theorem. It states that the angle that lies between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. So in this theorem we need two things that is one is the tangent that is which touches the circle at only a single point and a chord which is a line which is inside the circle and cuts the circle at two points. So here you can see I have already drawn a circle and a tangent and a chord AB. Now to understand this theorem let there be an angle made between the tangent and a chord. For example I'll take it as 65 degrees. Now the same chord is going to make an angle in the alternate segment. So this is the minor segment. So this is going to be made in the major segment. So if the same chord which makes an angle with the tangent makes another angle in the alternate segment, then its angle is also going to be equal to 65 degrees. So this is the alternate segment theorem. So let us find out if we can use this theorem to solve the example above. Now here we have a tangent PAQ and we have a chord AB 
and the chord makes an angle of 55 degrees with the tangent and the same chord makes an angle at point C in the major segment that is the alternating segment. So according to the alternate segment theorem if the angle made by the chord with the tangent is 55 then the angle made by the chord in the alternate segment is also 55 degrees. So this is the value of angle C. So here let us write down angle ACB is 55 degrees that is by using the alternate segment theorem. Now let us find out the third angle ADC. So here we have the angle ADC that is ADC over here. We need to find out this entire angle. Now for this let us consider the straight line ABX. Now here the straight line ABX is divided into two angles by the line BC. So one part of it is 85. Let us find out what is the other part of this angle in a straight line. We know that the total angle in the straight line will add up to 180 degrees. So the remaining angle is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus 85 degrees. And that will give us a value of 95 degrees. So let me write over here this total angle B is going to be 95. Now I am going to consider the cyclic quadrilateral ABCD. This is called as a cyclic quadrilateral because we can see that each vertex of the quadrilateral is on the circle. And to find out this angle D, I am going to use another circle theorem which is given as cyclic quadrilateral theorem. It states that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. So for example, if I consider the angle P, the angle opposite to angle P is angle R. So when I add them both together, that is angle P plus angle R, then it should add up to 180 degrees. Similarly, we can consider the angle S and opposite to angle S we have angle Q. So when we add them both together, angle S plus angle Q should give us 180 degrees. Now let us see if we can use this theorem to solve the example above. Now here ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. We had found out the value of angle B using the straight line ABX. Now angle D is opposite to angle B. So we can write angle B plus angle D is equal to, they should add up to 180 degrees. And angle B we had got the value as 95. So 95 plus angle D is equal to 180 or angle D is equal to 180 minus 95 which gives you 85 degrees. So let us write over here angle ADC is equal to 85 degrees that is by using the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Now let us find out the next angle which is angle BCD. So here we can see that the angle BCD is at this point. So this is the entire angle we need to find. Now let me just zoom in a little bit. To find out the angle BCD, we have to make use of the previous angles which we have found that is angle D and angle BCA and angle CBD. Now here to find out the angle C, let me use the angles in the same segment theorem. So here I am going to consider the points A and B. So these are the two points which make an angle in the major segment at point C which is over here. And the same two points make an angle in the major segment at point D. So the theorem states that the angle in the same segment are equal. So if the points AB make an angle of 55 degree at point C, then the same two points will make an angle of 55 degrees at point D. But we had seen that the entire angle D is 85 degrees. So the remaining small angle is going to be 85 minus 55 which gives us 30 degrees. Now once we have got this angle, let us consider the triangle BCD. Now in this triangle we have the value of angle B 
we have the value of angle D and we have to find out the value of angle C. So using the angle sum property we can find angle C by subtracting these two angles that is 42 and 30 from 180 degrees. So we can take 180 minus 42 and minus 30 degrees. So that will give us a value of 108 degrees. So let me write it over here that is angle BCD is equal to 108 degrees by using the angles in the same segment theorem and angle sum property of the triangles. Now let us find out the last angle which is angle PAD. So here we have to find out the angle PAD which is this angle. So to find this angle we are going to make use of this angle that is angle BCD which we had got earlier as 108 and this small angle which we had got it as 55 degrees. Now using these two angles I am going to find out the angle ACD which is over here. So that is going to be 108 that is the total angle minus 55. So that is going to give us a value of 53 degrees. So let me just keep this angle now. Now we can use this angle to find out the angle PAD. That is by using the alternate segment theorem. We have already seen that for the alternate segment theorem we need a tangent which we have here and we need a chord which is chord AD here. Now here the chord AD makes an angle with the tangent at point A. The same chord makes an angle in the alternate segment at point C which is 53 degrees. So according to the theorem the angle made by the chord at the tangent will be equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. So here if the chord has made an angle in the alternate segment as 53 then here the angle PAD at the tangent is also going to be 53 degrees. So here let us write that angle PAD is equal to 53 degrees by using the alternate segment theorem. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of finding these angles, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.